Yo, what's cracking mates? A few weeks ago, my mind was blown when I read a post talking about a way to increase the available memory for 32-bit apps. The magic trick in question is called LAA, which stands for Large Address Awareness. Back in ancient times, when 32-bit operating systems were still the norm, user mode apps like games were limited to 2 GB of memory, even if you had 4 GB installed. The intention was to limit those apps so the OS wouldn't crash because it ran out of memory. Nowadays on 64-bit systems, memory isn't that much of a concern anymore, but some applications from back then still might have those limits since they have been compiled with them. Thankfully the fix is quite easy, you simply have to flip a single bit in the binary. There already are apps on the web which let you toggle the LAA bit, but I absolutely despise running random binaries I find on shady websites, so I decided to write a tool of my own. My language of choice is Rust, since I didn't find any open source solution for this problem in it, and also because I want to improve my skills. I'm fully aware that not everybody who needs the tool will be either willing or able to compile themselves, and that's why I added a pre-compiled release binary to my Git repository as well. Just as a heads up, on my machine Windows Defender had a false positive, which meant I had to manually allow it in order to use it. Should it happen to you too, you can simply perform the same actions as you see on screen right now. I know, I know. Hearing from some random dude on YouTube that you should download and run his exe, ignore the pop-ups from Windows Defender and allow it instead must for sure sound like the most trustworthy thing you have heard all your life. To be extra safe, you unfortunately will have to read the source and compile it yourself, which shouldn't be too hard since it's pretty compact and has zero dependencies, but that's not in the scope of this video. Usage is pretty simple. You pass the path to the binary you want to edit as an argument and then follow the instructions. To make your life a lot easier, this can also be achieved by dragging the app onto the tool. There is a yes no dialog asking you if you really want to modify the binary, so you can use it to just check up on the current state of affairs, as well as disabling LAA if for whatever reason you would need that. Before we can jump to the code, we have to talk about how to actually find the LAA flag and how exe files look like. At the very start, there is a structure called msdosstub, which holds various informations. We are interested in the field called e underscore LFA new, which is a pointer to the PE signature. Right after the signature, which are just for bytes reading PE00, is another struct which holds the field characteristics, where the LAA is a flag in. The code is rather simple. There are two convenience functions, one for pausing the command prompt when you use drag and drop, as well as one for printing error messages and then aborting the process. In the main function, we check if we got exactly one argument and if this was the path to an exe file. If so, we open it in read-write mode and load the pointer stored at hex 3c from the ms-dos stub. For that address, we add 4 bytes for the signature and hex 12 for the characteristics offset, so we can read the field and its flag. After asking the user for confirmation, we can then proceed to XOR the flag, which will invert its current value and write it back to disk. That's basically it. I hope it was interesting and maybe you learned a thing or two. See ya!